Hey guys, it's Kryptonite, and you know, a couple weeks ago, or a while back, I had a video called Discussion Time with Kryptonite, something along the lines of that, and pretty much what it was, was a video where I just show some gameplay in the back, and pretty much tell you guys my opinions on stuff that was happening in the world, more specifically related to sports, you know, hockey, basketball, stuff like that. It's gonna be a little follow-up to that video, not really, not directly, but I wanted to give my opinions on the Team Canada Olympic team that's going to be at Sochi 2014. Now it hasn't been made official yet that the, that Canada is going to be at the Olympics with the NHL players, but pretty much I guess we can all assume that they will be and that there is going to be a Team Canada hockey team with NHL players. That being said, I recorded this gameplay like 2-3 weeks ago of me going through the rosters in NHL 13 and picking my very own Team Canada and you know what, I thought I just might as well make a video about it and see what you guys thought about my team and what changes you'd make and you know stuff like that just a little discussion as I said earlier so the gameplay you're gonna be seeing uh, don't worry too much about that I'm not really gonna focus on that it's just me pretty much going through the team picking my team setting the lines and then a little tournament at the end that I kinda clipped together so as you can already tell I'm going by defensemen goalies and then forwards and I'm gonna be picking the team oh and before I say any more if you're not Canadian you know if you're Swedish American Finnish whatever whatever it is you may be you're still welcome to comment I really want your guys opinion because I'm sure you guys all watch the NHL and it's, it's safe to say a large majority of the best players are Canadian so I'm definitely sure you guys have an opinion so let me know at the end of the video what you guys thought and and let's go for there so the way I pick my team pretty much at the Olympics you're allowed 13 forwards seven defensemen and three goalies two that are active but for the 13 forward and 7 D all of them can be on the bench at once, so there's probably going to be at least one forward and one defenseman without a set line or partner. What I did was I went through each of the positions, you know, defense, forwards, goalie. I looked at, I picked locks. Locks are pretty much guys that I think are guaranteed to be on the team. And then I, I listed a bunch of players that were on the bubble. Pretty much players that have a really good chance of making the team, but aren't a sure thing just yet. So for the defensemen, my locks for Team Canada were Duncan Keith, Brett Seabrook, Drew Doughty, Shea Weber, Chris Letang, and Alex Pietrangelo. Or Petrangelo, whatever it is. <laughs> and for me, the players on the bubble of making the team were Dan Boyle, Mark Stahl, P.K. Subban, Dion Phaneuf, and Justin Schultz. I probably left off, left off a bunch of good defensemen there, but those are just on the bubble for me. It's really interesting this year because we don't have Chris Pronger or Scott Niedermeyer, which are two huge pieces on our, on our blue line, that are both left-handed shots. And if you look at today's NHL, a lot of the high-end top Canadian defensemen are right-handed. Now, there are a couple left ones, such as Duncan Keith, which is a lock. But do you really want a team of, like, six or seven right-handed defensemen with not any left-handed defensemen to complement them? I mean, that'd be really... I don't know. I don't think it would work out that well. That's why I eventually chose Mark Stahl to be on my team. Uh, just because of the way he was playing earlier. Again, I did make this video a couple weeks ago. I know he's hurt now. And other than Mark Stahl, I mean, what what are the other left-handed good defensemen in the league that are Canadian? I'd say Dion Phaneuf for sure. Um, he didn't make the last team, so I'm not sure if he'll make it this year, or not this year, I guess it's next year. But, you know, it's, it'd either be Mark Stahl or Dion Phaneuf for me. So, moving on to the goalies, I mean, if they were picked today, my locks would be Carey Price and Roberto Luongo. I know, I know, Luongo, boo, boo, boo. But, um, honestly, he won the gold medal for us last time, took over for Brodeur, and... To start the season, he was playing really well. That could obviously all change, but I really think that the locks for me would be Price and Luongo. Um, players on the bubble, I have right here Cam Ward, Fleury, Mike Smith, and Marty Berger. Uh Berger, just because of his name, obviously, I don't think he'll be that effective next year. But, you know, that could all change. I mean, he is one of the greatest goalies of all time. And it would be cool just to have him there. Uh, give him another medal, you know, hopefully. Um, I think eventually I went with Cam Ward just because... I don't know, I like him better than Flurry right now, and, you know, he has that ability to steal a game, you know, he's won a cup, I know Flurry has too, but I think Ward won the Conn Smythe that year when he won the cup, so, uh, just for his credentials, uh, I went with Cam Ward. Alright, alright, let's get to the exciting part, I mean, the part that's gonna have the most debate, in my opinion, because there's just so many good forwards, let's get on to the forwards. So my locks, obviously, uh, some of them are going to be pretty obvious. Some of them you might disagree with me, but these are my locks. So starting off first, we got Sidney Crosby, Stamkos, Getzlav Perry, Eric Stahl, Jonathan Taves, John Tavares, Rick Nash, Claude Giroux, and Pati ah, Pat Patrice, Patrice Bergeron. That's right. All right, so I think that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, th those are 10 guys that are locks for me. So that only leaves room for three three more forwards and there's a bunch to choose from 
So I'm just going to go ahead and list all the players that are on the bubble for me. Get ready for it. Okay, so I had Mike Richards, Marty St. Louis, Matt Duchesne, Tyler Sagan, Jamie Benn, Jeff Carter, Jordan Eberle, Taylor Hall, The Nuge, James Neal, Brad Richards, uh, Shane Doan, Jordan Stahl, Joe Thornton, Patrick Marlowe, Logan Couture, Scotty Hartnell, Lucic, and even David Clarkson. And I'm sure there are like at least 10 more players that could possibly make the team and might even do it, but those are my players on the bubble. In the end, for the extra three players, I went with Mike Richards just because he was on the team last year and he's got he's won the cup now, he's got the Olympic gold medal. And then I went with two youthful players, two young guys. First of all, Jordan Eberle. I went with him just because if you've ever seen him play for Team Canada, I mean, he's lights out. He's one of the most exciting World Junior players I've ever seen. He was so clutch in those World Junior tournaments. So I want to see what, can he, what he can do on the big stage at the Olympics. And for the last player on the team, I picked Tyler Sagan, actually. Because uh, he's a young gun, he's, good, he's great offensively, and because he's won the Stanley Cup, I know it was his rookie year and he was on a great team. But he has that experience, he knows what it takes to win, and you know what, he's not a defensive liability, so I picked him. Now you've seen my lot of combinations already in the video, and probably some of you were scratching your head, maybe, I don't know. Uh, just keep this in mind guys, the lines are really irrelevant at this point, I mean, you never know who's going to have chemistry when you have such an all-star team of players. So it could be anyone on the first line, or anyone on the fourth line, or defense defensive pair and like I said before there's gonna be 13 forwards and 7d that are dressed uh, you obviously can't do that in NHL 13 so the two players I scratched were I think there were Sagan and Seabrook uh, but obviously they'd be on the team uh, in real life you know it's not always about firepower when it comes to lines you need a good balance of players I think that's why I put Corey Perry on Sidney Crosby's line um, if you remember in the last Olympics once they put Eric Stahl on Crosby's line I mean they were dynamic it just they just start wrecking things with the Ginla on the right side. Obviously, I didn't pick a Ginla for this team, but I picked a player uh, pretty similar to Ginla in his prime, which is Corey Perry. So I think that line of Stahl, Crosby, and Perry would do major damage. Uh, you know, Stamkos, Taves, Drew, that's just a pure skill line with defensive uh, abilities. I mean, honestly, the lines, I mean, any lines would work for the power play, penalty kill, whatever it may be. Um, when I made this video, I put Luongo as a starter just because he was playing so well. And you know what? Honestly, Luongo or Price, either one would give Canada a great chance. Uh, they'd probably go with Price in the actual tournament because uh, he's younger and they want to see what he can do on that big stage. But, you know, Luongo's always there with his, with his experience, so... Yeah, guys, that was my Team Canada. Let me know what you guys thought. I'm sure I missed uh, a good player here or there, so let me know who that would be. And if this were your team, who would you switch out? Which, uh, who would you switch out and who would you put in for that player, I guess, I should say? Alright guys, well in my opinion, there's nothing better in the world when it comes to sports than playoff hockey, but if anything does come close, it's Olympic hockey. I mean, Olympic hockey is great. The best players from all over the world, you know, going at it. There's not as much hitting or fighting at all, which is kind of why it's not as great, but there's so much skill that it makes up for it. So again, let me know what I missed, who I missed on this team, who you would swap in, and who do you guys think the favorites are this year, or next year, I should say again. Obviously, I think Canada, US, Sweden and Russia just because it's their hometown it's their home city I mean you saw what the Olympics were like in Canada uh, in 2010 I mean the, the atmosphere was nuts I really believe that was a, a factor in why Team Canada won I mean the US had such a great run I mean no one really expected them to do it but Brian Burke picked their team and it was a great team and also I think Finland won the bronze medal didn't they so yeah they're always gonna be hanging around it's gonna be a really good tournament um, these are my early predictions. I'll probably make another video when the actual team is announced, probably sometime in the summer or something like that, and kind of compare, you know, compare teams, if, if you will. Oh, another thing, you saw this earlier, but I made Sidney Crosby the captain of Team Canada. Um, do you guys agree with me? The, I think he's the obvious favorite to be the captain. I'm sure that'll cause a lot of controversy uh, in the comments section. Let me know who you guys think should be the captain. What you thought of the video? What do you guys think of the video? Should I do more little random kind of videos with NHL like this. I uh, hope you guys liked it. Let me know what you thought. And again, thanks for watching. Take it easy. Peace!